Hey there! In my previous video, I dove into how to create amazing digital Tumblr wraps with Dream AI inside my designs and then easily sell them on Etsy. Well, today we're taking it up a notch. I'm going to show you how to transform the same digital Tumblr wraps into real life print on demand tumblers for sale on Etsy using my designs to generate mock ups, your data, and to fulfill your orders when an order comes in. And of course, you can bulk publish these at the click of a button. All right, no more waiting, let's get started. And real quick preview, probably hard to see these, but this is what I'm talking about, taking your, dump, your Tumblr wraps, turning them into actual print-on-demand tumblers with automated fulfillment. Let's get started. But we generated these graphics in Dream AI, as you can see here. They're already kind of preset for Tumblr wraps, but they'll be great for, of course, creating these print-on-demand tumblers. So now I'm gonna go over to the listings page. This is where we do everything. And you can see I already have all the digital Tumblr mock-ups, the data and everything done. Now what I'm gonna do is actually go into the template. So I'm gonna click the template. I'm gonna make sure I have listing selected, which is my title, descriptions, and tags. And I'm gonna click this plus button over on the right. And that'll actually create a new layout for us. I'm gonna move that, whoop, I'm gonna move that over. I'm gonna rename this. So click this little uh, pencil icon. I'm gonna do POD tumblers. Now I have title, description, and tags in the same collection in my designs for the print on demand tumblers that we're gonna sell. So with that being said, I actually have data that I'm gonna add at the template level too. And it's more generic, so if you're gonna take more time to do this, I recommend you do to optimize your listings better. But for the sake of keeping this video shorter, I'm gonna grab this data I pre-generated. So I'm gonna put in the title. It's pretty gen generic, but it's gonna grab the same keyword we used in the previous video. As you can see here, the keyword's not mapped yet, but you know, keyword, Tumblr 20 ounce, Tumblr with straw, Tumblr cup, gift for her, gift for him travel cup, birthday gift. So it's pretty generic, but it'll work. So now I'm gonna grab the description because I have that done as well. I'm gonna put it in here and let's make that a little bigger so you can see the descriptions here. And I will share the title description and all that that I'm using in the description of this video so you can find it there. And the last thing I need to do, oh, the tags will actually generate after, but what I'm gonna do now is save this and actually change this to update template and design. So I'm gonna add the, the template data to the designs that are already there, the listings. And when I do that, you can see that every one of these listings now have this POD Tumblr data set up here. So I'm going to double click on that. And what that does, you can see it makes it active across the entire collection. So now I'm working with this collection. You can see it actually has my data. You can see it already has a keyword in here. So we're using the active variable system in my designs, which basically is mapping to the keywords data set, which is here. So I click that and you can see the field name is primary keyword. So it's mapping to that data set and then to this field. So if I go back, you can see it's grabbing my keyword and placing it in here for all of these listings. It's like scroll down, that's great. And the same thing with the description. I'm actually grabbing, I'm actually grabbing the wrong title there. I'm grabbing the one from listing. Here we go, POD tumblers dot title. So here we go, now we're good. So now that way I have my descriptions done for all of these listings. Let me double click the POD tumblers data set one more time. Yeah, that looks much better now, we're good to go. So now I need tags and I'm gonna basically grab this keyword and use Fraser AI, what's our AI technology trained on best-selling Etsy data and getting better every month. So I'm gonna go back to POD tumblers and go to Fraser AI. And I'm gonna give, I'm gonna feed Fraser AI my keyword from all these listings, which is in that primary keyword slot. I'm gonna change the product type to tumblers. I'm gonna change the tags field to the POD tumblers tag field from that data set. Uncheck title, because I already have that done and hit submit. Now again, these won't be perfect, but it gets you about 80% of the way there. And again, I only have one listing selected, so let me select all of those and go back and do that again. Primary keyword, Tumblr, uncheck title, and we're gonna put that in the POD tags Tumblr. Now we're doing it for all 34 of these listings. So you can see this tags, these tags are all done. So you can go through, and I do recommend you go through and modify these. They aren't gonna be perfect, but for the sake of this video and keeping it faster, I will just leave them as, as is. Now, what I need to do is I have this default image. It's not quite, it's almost perfect for the, the Swift POD tumblers that we're gonna sell. And I will show you that. Let me just adjust this real quick. So this is the tumbler from our catalog that actually uses um, sublimation transfers. It's a great tumbler. It's the ones I was showing here. You can see these. Um, they're amazing. The quality is great. It's vibrant, it shines, and it's durable. It lasts a long time. Now you can see the aspect ratio here, but more importantly, you can see the dimensions that we need for the print file which we want to also use for the mock-ups. So knowing that, I'm gonna go back to my designs. Let me full screen this. I'm gonna take this original default image and just use our canvas system to generate the print files for the tumblers uh, in bulk. 
So let's go ahead. I'm actually going to delete all these uh, mockups from the digital one because I don't necessarily need them anymore. So let's go delete files. You don't have to do this. You can just use um, the mockups like filled or just create new uh, file slots. But I'm going to do that. All right. So now that's done. And I have all 34 of these selected. I'm going to go to the canvas system. And we're looking for that template, the POD tumbler. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom. You can also search it. But this one here at the Tiger, the 20 ounce straight skinny tumbler, and you see the dimensions here. So I'm going to select that. Now it's important that I go up to here and I'm going to fit this vertically. And you see it fits it just a tiny bit off to the right. So I'm going to actually click align center. And now what's really cool is I have that done on one listing. I can just click the sync button because I have all 34 of these listings selected. And it'll sync this positioning of the image across all of them. So I can actually rotate through these. You can see that now this looks really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the default image with this new one. Leave the, uh, the output file type as a PNG and hit overwrite files. I could also save it in a different file slot if I like, but I think this will do the job. You can see that's almost done already. And once it is, we can generate mockups and then we can publish these. So that's good to go. And if I click this little eye icon, you can see that I have the perfect dimensions now for each of these files. So now mockups, this is where the fun happens. Go to image mockups. And let's change that to the drinkware category. Now I'm looking for the particular mockup that has the dimensions that we need. So if I click on one of these, if it's connected to a print on demand product in our catalog, you'll see this up here and you'll see the recommended dimensions for this mockup. So again, the ones we just created with the canvas system are by 2,775 by 2,475 pixels, as you can see here. So this is the right mockup for the Tumblr I'm going to be selling. So I'm going to turn on uh, multiple mockups. And we have the input file, which is the one we just created. So I'm going to select this one. You can, again, you can preview all these just to make sure they're the right ones. That one's good. And I also want to change the uh, output file slots for each of these. So let's start here. This one can be mockup one, mockup two, mockup three. Let's grab this one as well. We'll make that one mockup four. And I don't think this one's the same. Yeah, that one's a little different. That's for the print full tumbler, which is nice to know. So I'm going to go with these four mockups. I think that's good enough. Uh, I have all four of them selected for all 34 of these listings. So I can hit generate mockups and then click generate mockups. And now we just queued up 136 mockups for all 34 of these listings. So we'll let we'll give it a second for that to complete. All right, so that is now done. So I can change the view here and actually preview these just to make sure everything looks good before we go ahead and publish these, which it does. You can see here, we've generated a bunch of mockups in bulk, which is amazing. Let's check these other ones. Everything's looking good. Check these ones. This is more of like a straight on view, but you can see they look great. And again, we have two pages of these. I'll just leave it on the first page, but we just generated, uh, you know, mockups for 34 listings in less than 30 seconds. Yeah, that's good. And this will be my main mockup I use or this one here, actually. I like this one the most. So I'll choose that during the publishing process, which we're about to get into. Now there's one more thing. Again, POD Tumblr. This is the data set we're gonna use. Essentially, I'm ready to go. So now if you have an Etsy shop connected, uh, you can go to the published pro uh, products right here, which is print on demand products and click that. You can choose your shop. In this case, I have my demo shop selected. You can also go through and choose the proper uh, drinkware category. It's in here somewhere. I can't remember if it's kitchen and dining, food and drink maybe. That's not it. Home decor. Let's see. But anyway, you can select the you can select the drinkware category. It's somewhere here. We're gonna add a search feature so that's easier to find. I'm just gonna leave this and go next. Pick a product. Actually, go back because we need to map the fields. I need to grab the POD title. You can see a preview here of one of your listings. You can rotate through your listings too here. We need that to be the POD title, POD description, and of course, POD tags. Now, pricing is not a big deal here. So let's go next. And now let's look for that 20 ounce tumbler. Again, it's this one here, which is Swift POD. The pricing is great here. So $14.57 to print this tumbler and then shipping $7.99. So let's grab that. And now on this page, it'll actually generate some mockups, which you can also generate them here. You don't have to generate them ahead of time if you don't want to. You can generate them all in this process just by selecting them. We already have our mockups generated, so I don't need this. So I'm gonna actually uncheck, or I'm just gonna grab these mockups here. Add them to the listing, and then of course the first one 
This is the primary here. If you ever need to adjust the print file for whatever reason, you can do that here as well during the publishing process. We have the mockups we want. And now I'm gonna go next. And this is where you input the pricing. I recommend you do it down here because this will apply to all 34 of the listings as you can see here. So I'm gonna go with like 43.98. The idea is to run a 50% off discount on Etsy. So I'm gonna apply that. And again, that applies it to all these listings as I go through and you can see. So I'm gonna go to the next step. And now we get the last step where we can preview everything. You can choose your shop, et cetera. Everything looks good in this case. I just double check the titles, descriptions and tags. You can see we got the proper data. Go so publish. And now it's queued up all 34 of these print on demand listings for these tumblers. And that won't take more than usually 60 seconds, sometimes a little longer, and they'll be in the drafts folder on Etsy. So once that's done, I'll move over to Etsy, move to that drafts folder and show you these listings. All right, so that's already done. And I just realized that I forgot to generate a video mockup. But if you watched the previous video, then you'll know how to generate video markups. It's really simple. And then you can just select that during the publishing process. With that being said, let's go over to Etsy and go to the listings page. This is our demo shop. And under the drafts folder, we'll see all 34 of these. So I'm gonna click that. And just like that, you can see all 34 of these tumblers. And these are actually print on demand tumblers. So if someone orders, one of these tumblers, it'll route to my designs, we'll charge you, the seller of my designs, the base cost to print and ship this product, and then you'll profit whatever you're selling the product for above that cost on Etsy. So it's the print on demand model, which is amazing. So I could just hit publish, publish all 34 of these, and now they're live on Etsy. So if I wanted to pull one of these up, let's actually view this, go view it on Etsy. You can see this is the tumbler and everything's there that's how easy that is using my designs to you know create the original graphic using dream ai and then put it into a listings page upscale it and then generate the data generate the markups in bulk and publish your products in bulk and now when an order comes in of course that's automated order fulfillment too it doesn't really get any easier than that i want to share that with you guys um, and again, I'm gonna be up building a lot more content to share all the different tips and strategies and ways you can use my design. So if you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a comment below and uh, we'll see you in the next one.